Authorities in Nigeria say they've arrested the leader of a breakaway independence group. Namdi Kanu will stand trial in the capital, Abuja. Kanu heads up the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra movement. The group campaigns for a separate state for ethnic Igbos in southeast Nigeria. The mainly Christian Igbos say they are marginalized by the government. The movement denies stoking violence. Kanu was tried back in 2015 but disappeared while on bail. All right, for more now, we are joined by DW correspondent Uwaisis Idris in Abuja. It's good to have you on the program. Can you explain exactly the charges brought against Namdi Kanu? Namdi Kanu is facing 11 count charge, which include treason felony, inciting violence using television, radio, and online while he was abroad, uh, and then several other charges which the Nigerian government is trying to allow him to face court because he jumped bail and left Nigeria. The court has ordered that he should be remanded in the custody of the state security service till the 27th of next month. Do we know where he is right now? Yes, he is in the hand of the state security service officials as ordered by the Nigerian court because when he was brought in yesterday, he appeared in a court to face the 11 count charges which he was facing before he jumped bail and left Nigeria. And what has been the reaction there in Nigeria to this? There are different reactions. Some see what the government did by bringing him back to face trial as a legal issue because he was facing trial and he was on bail and he jumped bail. So they are supporting what the government did. But especially people from his own area, the southeast, few of them are seeing that he was even being kidnapped. Why should the government bring him back? Why shouldn't the Nigerian government face what is bothering Nigerians, the issue of insecurity, instead of uh, concentrating on Namdi Kanu? There is concern around the world that Nigeria is on the brink of, of having this, this separation between Muslims and Christians in the country. Um, is Nigeria, or are Nigerians, are they aware of this concern outside of the country about what's happening inside? They are very aware because they are, they've been following what is happening. Of course, there is a wide line between those who are agitating for the separation. The government even came out to say, OK, I am ready to negotiate those who are seeking to agitate to separate from the country. Although the Northern part has said, allow them to go. We want them to go. And we know there are international communities who are supporting this agenda. That is why Inamdi Kanu, as a fugitive, as they called him, alleged fugitive, is getting support, not only from Nigeria, but from outside. Because if he's not being supported outside, he wouldn't have been doing what he was doing, according to what many Nigerians see it. They are very aware. Okay. DW correspondent Uwaisis Idris in Abuja with the latest tonight. Uwaisis, thank you.